Hello, my name is Vanessa. Welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me. So, if you have watched my previous videos on、um, this concept, by now I believe you're an expert to it. So, how questions can be、uh, repackaged or a similar concept can be repackaged to you with the introductions of some like,、um, in this case, percentage. And basically, student must be able. To identify that these、uh, few examples are of similar, similar nature, similar concept. Let's take a look. Amelia does not have enough savings now to buy a bag. If she increases her savings by thirty percent, she will need another one dollar. If she increases her savings by forty percent, she will have thirty-four dollars more than she needs. What is the cost of the bag? Okay, so um, well, looking at this question, we have percentages. So we we may want to change them so that the uh, so that we express everything in terms of units. Okay, since the base is savings, let's call savings equals to one hundred units. All right, and then we can work out quite comfortably, just like a direct conversion. What is increases of uh increases her savings by thirty percent? It becomes one hundred and thirty units. So likewise, in scenario two, she increases her savings by forty percent. Uh, so the cost uh, she use one hundred forty units for scenario two. Okay, so now what is different from the previous questions in the videos? I would say is this common reference here. So um, previously it was based on the actual, but now it's based on another so called object that is the cost of the bag. But essentially, the concept is the same. So. This is the reference, which the two scenarios are referring are basing it on. So cost of the bag. All right. So in scenario one, she increases her savings by thirty percent. She will need another one dollar. So she is short of one dollar. So a short term order and that one hundred thirty units, and you need to add one dollar. Okay, she need to add one dollar in order to buy the bag. So she's short of that. So in scenario two. She increases her savings by forty percent. She will have thirty-four dollars more than she needs. So it's a longer model than that of the cost of the bag by thirty-four. See that? So probably this one is even simpler and straight to the point because from the two comparing scenario one and scenario two, we can work out the difference in terms of units. And the difference in terms of the dollar value. So the difference between these two scenarios is actually indicated by this pink portion. So on a closer look, you can see that oh, the difference in terms of units is actually one hundred forty units. Okay, take away one hundred thirty units. Likewise, for the dollar value, we can actually find、uh, the answer easily: one dollar plus thirty four dollars. So that would give us an equation. So that give us how to solve the units. Okay, so we're expressing them is actually ten、um, units equals to one、uh, dollars plus thirty four dollars, which give you thirty five dollars, and work out what is one unit. So in order to find the cost of the bag, you can use either scenario. You can use scenario one and then scenario two to check. So using scenario one, remember she is short of one dollar, so you have to add back one dollar after you have found one hundred and thirty units. And in in this case, the model becomes very clear, very helpful in your understanding. Okay, so likewise for scenario two, use it to check because it's just a quick calculation check. So please check. So. Hundred forty units. Okay, remember in this case she has an excess, so you have to take away thirty four dollars, and that give you four hundred fifty six. So that's it. That's your answer. So I hope you have、uh, enjoyed your this videos and give me a like if you find it beneficial,、uh, or dislike if you this is woo woo you know that kind of thing. So, um, well, do subscribe to my channel for more videos. And at the end of the day, if you are a student here, I hope that you will begin to love math because if math is learned in a very systematic and organized way, it is actually very enjoyable, and you see that it actually makes you think. So if you don't, please, I hope that you you will、um, you you learn to love it. And so if our parents, I hope that you can use this to teach your child, your children. So that's it. I hope to see you around. And、uh, goodbye for this lesson.
拜。